Hey folks, welcome to the third episode of JavaScript Oops Under the Hood. And in this episode, we are going to solve the issue that we discussed uh, in the previous video. So let's uh, look into the example. We are uh, declaring function bundle object, which is containing add money as a function and which balance as a working function. And we are also declaring a function create customer with name account balance and pretty much the same stuff that we did uh, in the previous video uh, just the difference that in this one we are using object.create to create our customer object so we'll look into it how is that working so to begin with uh, let's create our uh, global memory and in this global memory we are uh, storing our object functions bundle we are having add money a function and we are having fetch balance and this is pretty much in this object and we are having a create a customer function which is a function and on the very uh, next line we have uh, declaring a const customer one and JavaScript needs to execute it. So let's create our execution context and run this piece of code one equals to create customer Alex hundred and x y z and let's create our execution context. In this execution context, we have our local memory so in the parameters we will assign the arguments which is name having lx and count balance is 100 and branch is xyz now comes a part where we are using object.create to create the uh, customer object so one thing we have to note is that when we are calling object.create it always returns an empty object and we are having customer object which is empty on line 11 so uh, what's the use of object.create here object.create attaches the proto of the object returned with the argument uh, with the argument so uh, if we can see uh, in on the line 11 we are passing functions bundle as the argument to the object dot create uh, function so the proto of the returned object will point to the functions bundle this is the feature of object dot create function and in the very last we are uh, adding properties to this uh, create customer object which is name alex count balance as 100 branch xyz great and we are doing a return return customer so this would return this whole object to customer one and in customer one we will be having name alex and the account balance as 100 and the branch as xyz with this proto referencing to the functions bundle so whenever we call uh, customer one dot add money customer one dot add money so javascript will look for customer one uh, in the global memory it finds it we are using a dot notation so we are accessing the properties of the object and we are looking for the add money function it searches in the whole object it is not there it goes to the proto way up to the functions bundle finds the add money function and it executes it so th this is how the prototype prototype chain uh, comes into the picture and helps us solving the memory issue that we had uh, with the approach one and let's suppose uh, in the new year future if we have some another customer two then that's then the proto of that particular object will also point to the functions bundle and we can access these functionalities in multiple objects without creating the copies of them so yeah um, that was all in this video oh.